Question 1. When approaching a railroad crossing in a school bus, you should A. Continue at the same speed and look both ways. B. Stop within 15 to 50 feet before the crossing and look both ways. C. Honk the horn before crossing. Answer B. Stop within 15 to 50 feet before the crossing and look both ways. School buses are required to stop before railroad crossings to ensure safety. Question 2. The overhead inside rearview mirror is used to A. Check traffic behind the bus. B. Monitor passenger activity inside the bus. C. View the road ahead. Answer B. Monitor passenger activity inside the bus. The overhead inside rearview mirror allows the driver to observe passengers. Question 3. If a student drops an object while crossing the street to board the bus, they should A. Pick it up immediately. B. Continue walking and then tell the driver. C. Wait until all traffic has stopped and then pick it up. Answer. B. Continue walking and then tell the driver. It's important for students to not stop in the roadway. Question 4. The danger zone around a school bus is A. 10 feet on all sides. B. 5 feet on all sides. C. 15 feet on all sides. Answer. A. 10 feet on all sides. Children should be taught to stay away from this area when the bus is stopped. Question 5. When unloading students, you should ensure that they A. Exit the bus and walk straight to their homes. B. Exit and stand at the front bumper. C. Take five giant steps away from the bus. Answer. C. Take five giant steps away from the bus. This ensures they are out of the danger zone. Question 6. The stop arm and red flashing lights should be used. A. Only when picking up students. B. Only in school zones. C. Whenever students are entering or exiting the bus. Answer. C. Whenever students are entering or exiting the bus, this alerts other drivers to stop. Question 7. Before changing lanes, you should. A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. B. Signal and then move over immediately. C. Rely on other drivers to let you in. Answer. A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. Safety is paramount when transporting students. Question 8. If a student is not at the bus stop in the morning, you should. A. Wait for 5 minutes. B. Honk the horn until they come out. C. Wait for a short time, then move on. Answer. C. Wait for a short time, then move on. Buses need to maintain a schedule. Question 9. In the event of a fire on the bus, you should A. Drive quickly to the nearest water source. B. Evacuate the students immediately. C. Try to put out the fire first before evacuating. Answer. B. Evacuate the students immediately. Student safety is the top priority. Question 10. The rear door of a school bus is used. A. For daily boarding of students. B. Only in emergency situations. C. For high school students only. Answer. B. Only in emergency situations. The rear door is an emergency exit. Question 11. True or false. You should fuel the bus with students on board. Answer. False. It's unsafe to fuel the bus with students on board. Question 12. When approaching a stop where students will be boarding, you should A. Activate yellow warning lights 200 feet before the stop. B. Activate yellow warning lights right at the stop. C. Not use any warning lights. Answer. A. Activate yellow warning lights 200 feet before the stop. This warns other drivers. Question 13. True or false. It's okay to leave students unattended on the bus if you'll be gone for just a minute. Answer. False. Students should never be left unattended on the bus. 
Question 14. If a student has to cross the street to board the bus, they should A. Cross at least 10 feet in front of the bus B. Cross behind the bus C. Cross as soon as they get to the stop Answer A. Cross at least 10 feet in front of the bus. This ensures the driver can see them. Question 15. The most dangerous time for loading and unloading students is A. When the bus is moving B. When other vehicles are present C. When it's raining Answer B. When other vehicles are present Other drivers may not always stop for the bus Question 16. True or false? It's okay for students to leave items in the aisle Answer False the aisle should be clear at all times to prevent tripping hazards. Question 17. If you must evacuate the bus, which students should you evacuate first? A. Those closest to the door. B. Those in the back. C. Those with special needs. Answer. A. Those closest to the door. This ensures a quick and orderly evacuation. Question 18. True or false? You should always assign seating on the bus. Answer. True. Assigned seating can help manage student behavior and ensure safety. Question 19. If a student becomes unruly on the bus, you should A. Stop the bus and address the behavior. B. Ignore it and continue driving. C. Tell them to move to the back of the bus. Answer. A. Stop the bus and address the behavior. Safety is paramount. Question 20. The first step in a pre-trip inspection is A. Checking the tires. B. Checking the lights. C. Checking for sleeping students. Answer. C. Checking for sleeping students. Always ensure the bus is empty before starting the inspection. Question 21. True or false? If the bus becomes stalled on a railroad track, you should immediately evacuate. Answer. True. It's crucial to get students to a safe location. Question 22. When driving in foggy conditions, you should A. Turn on high beam headlights. B. Turn on low beam headlights. C. Drive without headlights. Answer. B. Turn on low beam headlights. High beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Question 23. True or false? It's okay to reverse the bus at a school. Answer. False. Reversing is dangerous and should be avoided unless absolutely necessary. Question 24. The safest place for students while waiting for the bus is A. In the street. B. At the bus stop sign. C. Away from the roadway. Answer. C. Away from the roadway. This keeps them safe from passing traffic. Question 25. True or false? You should count students as they exit the bus. Answer. True. This ensures no one is left behind. Question 26. If a student's clothing becomes caught on the bus, you should. A. Drive slowly until it becomes unstuck. B. Ask the student to pull free. C. Immediately stop and assist the student. Answer. C. Immediately stop and assist the student. Their safety is paramount. Question 27. When driving on slippery roads, you should A. Increase your speed. B. Decrease your following distance. C. Increase your following distance. Answer. C. Increase your following distance. This provides more time to react. Question 28. True or false? You should activate red flashing lights only after students have exited the bus. Answer. False. Activate them as students are preparing to exit to alert other drivers. Question 29. The best way to handle a disruptive student is to A. Yell at them. B. Stop the bus and address the behavior in a calm manner. C. Let other students handle it. Answer. B. Stop the bus and address the behavior in a calm manner. Question 30. True or false? It's okay to let students stand while the bus is moving. 
Answer. False. All students should be seated when the bus is in motion. Question 31. The maximum capacity of school bus is determined by A. The number of seats B. The weight of the bus C. The number of students that can fit Answer A. The number of seats Each student should have a designated seat. Question 32. True or false? You should always approach a bus stop with the door closed. Answer True. This prevents students from rushing towards the bus. Question 33. If you hear a train approaching but don't see it, you should A. Cross the tracks quickly B. Wait and ensure no train is coming C. Proceed with caution Answer B. Wait and ensure no train is coming. Always prioritize safety. Question 34. True or false? Students should always be silent when the bus is in motion. Answer. False. While excessive noise can be distracting, students don't need to be completely silent. Question 35. The most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection is A. To avoid getting fined. B. To ensure the safety of the driver and students. C. Because it's a job requirement. Answer. B to ensure the safety of the driver and students. Question 36. True or false? If a student misses the bus, they should run after it. Answer. False. This is dangerous and can lead to accidents. Question 37. When driving heavy traffic, you should A. Weave in and out of lanes to move faster. B. Tailgate to keep cars from cutting in. C. Increase your following distance and stay alert. Answer C. Increase your following distance and stay alert. Question 38. True or false? You should always use your mirrors when changing lanes. Answer True. Mirrors help ensure the lane is clear. Question 39. The best way to prevent hydroplaning is to A. Speed up. B. Turn sharply. C. Slow down in wet conditions. Answer. C. Slow down in wet conditions. Question 40. True or false? It's okay to leave the bus unattended with the engine running. Answer. False. This is a safety hazard. Question 41. If a student has a medical emergency on the bus, you should A. Continue driving to the school. B. Stop the bus and call for help. C. Ask another student to assist. Answer. B. Stop the bus and call for help. Question 42. True or false? You should always check underneath the bus before departing. Answer. True. This ensures no students or objects are under the bus. Question 43. The main reason for student misbehavior on the bus is... A. They don't like the driver. B. They're bored or seeking attention. C. They don't want to go to school. Answer. B. They're bored or seeking attention. Question 44. True or false? You should always report any accidents or incidents that occur on the bus. Answer. True. Reporting ensures proper procedures are followed. Question 45. When stopping to pick up students, you should A. Stop in the middle of the road B. Stop on the opposite side of the road C. Stop as far to the right as possible Answer C. Stop as far to the right as possible. This is the safest position. Question 46. True or false? You should always use your horn when backing up. Answer False. The horn can be used to alert others, but it's not always necessary when backing up. Question 47. If a student is running late and the bus is already moving, you should A. Stop and wait for them. B. Continue driving and let them catch the next bus. C. Honk the horn to hurry them up. Answer. B. Continue driving and let them catch the next bus. It's unsafe to stop suddenly. Question 48. True or false? 
you should always count students as they board the bus. Answer. True. This ensures all students are accounted for. Question 49. The main reason to enforce bus rules is to A. Show authority. B. Keep students in line. C. Ensure the safety of all passengers. Answer. C. Ensure the safety of all passengers. Question 50. True or false? It's okay to pass another bus if it's going too slow. Answer. False. Passing another bus can be dangerous and should be avoided. Question 51. When approaching a curve, you should A. Speed up to get around it quickly. B. Maintain your current speed. C. Slow down before entering the curve. Answer. C. Slow down before entering the curve. This ensures safety. Question 52. True or false? You should always check for sleeping students at the end of a route. Answer. True. This ensures no student is left behind. Question 53. If a student is being bullied on the bus, you should A. Ignore it and let them handle it. B. Stop the bus and address the situation. C. Tell the student to move seats. Answer. B. Stop the bus and address the situation. It's important to ensure all students feel safe. Question 54. True or false? You should always activate your hazard lights when loading or unloading students. Answer. True. This alerts other drivers to stop. Question 55. The most common cause of bus accidents is A. Mechanical failure B. Weather conditions C. Driver error Answer. C. Driver error. It's important to always stay alert and drive safely. Question 56. True or false? You should always use the parking brake when parked. Answer. True. This prevents the bus from rolling. Question 57. If you see a student waiting for the bus on the opposite side of the street, you should A. Signal for them to cross. B. Wait for them to cross on their own. C. Ensure traffic has stopped before signaling them to cross. Answer. C. Ensure traffic has stopped before signaling them to cross. Question 58. True or false? It's okay to refuel the bus with students on board. Answer. False. It's unsafe to refuel with students on board. Question 59. The best way to handle a disruptive student is to A. Yell at them to sit down. B. Stop the bus and address the situation calmly. C. Ignore them and continue driving. Answer. B. Stop the bus and address the situation calmly. Question 60. True or false? You should always check your mirrors before and after stopping. Answer. True. This ensures you're aware of your surroundings.